This is Barack Chanel, who will present Voice of America, Merriam-Webster, and Google Translate. Hi, my name is Barack Chanel. Today, I want to show you how I make use of technologies to prepare pronunciation of new words for my oral presentation as an assignment in my speaking class. In this presentation assignment, I'm required to choose and present about an interesting person to my whole class. And I also need to add my own view about that person. For example, explaining why I think that person is interesting and whether or not I agree with the person about one of the critical issues that he is talking about. And Voice of America is the resource that I choose for the content of my presentation. People in America, as you can see here, is a section on Americans in the Voice of America website. In this section, I found an article about Ivan Lotz. He is CEO and founder of Hungry Harvest, which is a business collecting and selling ugly produce or fruits and vegetables that most food companies would throw away. The resource, as you can see here, has video interviews with the person so I can learn more about him, and then an article going with it, and it has a lot of information about this person. So, one of the important steps to prepare for this presentation is that I need to check pronunciation of new words or phrases that I either don't know or I'm not sure about. So, here is how I do that. First, I open a blank note file or a Microsoft Word file like this to outline the presentation. And I also add new words and expressions that I don't know in the article so that I can check their meanings and pronunciations. I also note down words or expressions that I'm not sure how to pronounce so that I can check them. For example, this one, fresh produce, I know how to pronounce this word as a verb, but I don't know how to pronounce it as a noun. Let me show you how I can get help with checking pronunciation of these words and expressions. Let's take one of the words in my speaking note here, for example, this phrase. And I often check the pronunciation of a new word in different resources in order to acquire it effectively. The first resource that I usually use is an online dictionary. An online dictionary often has an audio showing how to pronounce a word. My favorite online dictionary is Merriam-Webster. And here, as you can see, I'm typing in the whole phrase fresh produce, but no result is found. So I have to type in each word in the phrase individually. So, for example, I'm typing in the word produce, and then I also want to look for the phonetic transcription and the audio of the word as a noun. As you can see here, this is a verb. So I need to go down, and here is the word as a noun. And then I look at the phonetic transcription and play the audio. Produce. My second place to check the pronunciation of a word or a phrase is Google Translate. And as you can see, I'm typing the phrase fresh produce and then clicking on the audio for its pronunciation. Fresh produce. From the two resources that I've shown you, there are several limitations in the ways of how these tools show me the pronunciation of a word. First, the dictionary doesn't allow you to look for pronunciation of the whole phrase. You have to type individual words in that phrase instead. Second, the pronunciation of the words in these two resources are often either in male or female voice without a clear indication of which accent, and they are recorded in isolated speech, but not in a connected speech in a real context.